slept oh, under. Oh, oh, you have to oh, like 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 strength. Oh, God, she's going to be. I don't know if she wants to Oh god. <laughs> just so oh, it's okay. oh man. Oh my god. Don't worry, the cream. I'm pretty oh, positive that the fire cream will break. What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> so that middle part's a little bit scary there. <laughs> Hi, my name is Martha Warner. I'm in the Dublin High School Robotics Club. Um, we have a challenge to build a duct tape bridge made of all duct tape, and it has to be able to support 300 pounds of weight, and um, it can't be any higher than three feet off of the floor. I'm Josh Price. I'm part of Mr. Yukon's uh, Introduction to Engineering Design class, and I'm the president of the Dublin High Robotics Club. Right after we made our design brief, we went into the brainstorming process. The three of us just grabbed a marker and we drew down all our favorite ideas. We collaborated on them so we got all the best ideas and then we just built on them and kept building until they were really the greatest ideas we could think of. Some things we went over were basic types of bridges like suspension bridges, truss bridges, and then also walking surface. We thought of we could do a braided surface or a thatched surface. There's many different designs for that. To begin our decision-making process, we had sketched out our original ideas, which were the suspension, rope, and truss bridge, and we used a decision matrix, which basically um, measures the different qualities of each bridge um, on a scale of one to three, one being the best, three being the worst. We also took the totals, five, seven, and six, and um, used that to determine which bridge we thought was the best. After we decided on doing sus a suspension bridge, we went into the actual designing of it. Um, before that we tested the durability of the duct tape we got so we knew how much it could take, how much weight it could take. And we found that one strand could take 30 to 40 pounds, 30 safely. So we figured that it'd be a really good idea to actually braid the duct tape to make it stronger. And then to make it even stronger we could double braid it, meaning take those braids that we made and braid them together. And that would be able to hold up to what, 600 pounds. So, a suspension bridge, the basics is that there's these suspensions which aren't pulled all the way, they have some flexibility, and there's, what are these? there's um, connectors from the suspensions to the walking surface to connect them. And we're planning on connecting the bridge to the tree through um, wrapping the tape around a tree and attaching it either with nails or something similar like that. And after we um, finished our design, we went into the building process. Thank you, Duck!